As you can see here, the century-old potter's wheel continues to be one of the most important tools in this factory, and is still being spun by feet. On the potter's wheel, the porcelain paste is being thrown into a blank, known in German as Ubel. This blank is the most basic form of all porcelain products. It's either made hollow or full inside. On the diligent hands of this worker, the blank is taking shape. The thin layer of semi-liquid porcelain slip is being removed with a piece of metal. Cut off from the rest of the paste, the blank is now ready for molding. Porcelain tableware is generally made by molding. Here, for example, we have a five-piece mold bearing the impressions of the relief pattern that is to appear on the outside of the cup. By means of a wet sponge, the porcelain body has been carefully pressed against the mold from the bottom to the top. Excess paste from inside the cup has been removed with a template to reach the desired thickness of the walls. Now the cup has to remain within the mold for at least half an hour, so that the plaster, of which it's made, is able to extract enough water from the porcelain body. Then the shrunken cup can easily be taken out of the mold. The cup's base and handle are made in the same fashion. For assembling these parts, porcelain slip is being used as an adhesive. The cup's rough edges still need to be polished off them. In the showcase, you can see the cup at this stage of production. At Meissen, Johann Friedrich Böttger introduced the practice of giving the body a first light firing to about 950 degrees Celsius, making an absorbent porcelain biscuit. Our famous factory mark of origin, blue cross swords, are generally added to this biscuit. Glazed by dipping in a liquid glaze mixture, the porcelain biscuit is then subjected to a hotter fire at more than 1400 degrees, which is called the gloss or smooth firing of porcelain. Would you please take notice of the different sizes of the cup before and after this firing? It's lost about 16% of its original size. Since it's impossible to mold figures in their entirety, they are made from a number of separate molds. For that, an original clay model is cut up and plaster molds are made of the different parts. Cast into these plaster molds, the porcelain paste takes on the shape of the original after roughly half an hour. The assemblage of the various porcelain impressions will be shown in the next room. All pieces must be roughened up at their ends, and the slip must be applied carefully to guarantee successful adhesion. Mm -hmm. and free mold elements such as flowers, foliage and scroll work are being added.
As we've already explained at the period of drying, the porcelain is subjected to a first light firing to be followed by glazing and smooth firing at 1400 degrees Celsius. The porcelain body shrinks in the firing for a second time. All additional painting, colors and gilding is then applied over the glaze and fired at third burning in a muffle kiln at a temperature of about 900 degrees. Underglazed colors are added on the unglazed porcelain biscuit after its first firing. Since these colors must stand the heat of the following second firing at more than 1400 degrees, they need to have a specific resistance. Plate number three shows a complete on the pattern. After painting, the piece of porcelain is dipped in the liquid glaze to cover the decoration. Plate number four is only partly covered with the glaze, showing that the painting in blue actually lies underneath the liquid. Only in the heat of the smooth firing, the glaze becomes translucent and the painting is effectively protected by the coat. Since 1723, the Meissen factory mark has been painted in underglazed blue on every single piece of porcelain produced here. The cross swords have become our trademark, protecting the Meissen wares from copying and indicate to some extent the time of production. In this room, we'd like to introduce you to the practice of overglaze painting, which is primarily done on the glazed but undecorated white porcelain body. The colors used here are called enamels. They are fired over the glaze at a third burning at a temperature of around 900 degrees Celsius. Decorations in enamel colors are manifold and include motives such as European and Oriental flowers, hunting scenes, birds, portraits or landscapes, and not to forget the colouring of figures in general. Yes. 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 Yes.